All right, folks, as you can see, I finished welding that in. I have not ground any of it down. I still do a little bit of welding in here too, but at least it's there and the strength is all in place now. Uh, I guess today's plan is gonna be to rip this front sheet metal off and possibly, cause there's not much frame. We're gonna maybe just get rid of the center part of the frame and stuff like that. Well, there's an X frame, but only the X framey bit and the rear horns are still attached to this. So there's not too much I really need about this right now. So I'm going to uh, just take the frame rails off and then we can get this thing out of the shop. It doesn't need to be in here. Thinking about it now, I might need a little bit of this, this lippy stuff because I know in the trunk there is no lip on this lower part. So I don't know if I can use it or not, but if I can, that'd be awesome. Maybe it just didn't have it. I don't know. Kind of looks like it never had anything in there, but I wouldn't mind to have something for a lip because I do want the trunk to open like this, like, like it's supposed to go up this way. So there should be a seal in there in my eyes. So if I can repurpose some of this, that would be great. So I guess uh, first things first, I'm going to go ripping off the sheet metal. I'd like to lift the body off. That way I don't need this, this frame table thing for now. That would be my my plan. Be a little more nicer to work underneath. I don't know, I have mixed feelings on using this thing. If I didn't have a lift, this would be great, but because I got the lift and a scissor lift, but I do want to get underneath there, do some more bracing for now so that we can uh, start working on the roof. But uh, I know this is here and we gotta do some tweak into the rocker on the other side. This one's really nice. Everything fits nice, so I'd like to get it up get the inner structure fastened to the outer part of this thing and uh, yeah see where we go from there basically try to get it a very solid unit underneath there then we got this roof section so I'd like to get that into there and fastened into the roof kind of like tacked all together so it's it looks like a five window again but like I say I, I really want a three window so we're gonna we're gonna switch it up after but for now I don't know if that's part of the game plan yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Uh, you want to see some interesting shock mounts? Check those babies out. I'm going to guess the old knee action shock kind of, I don't know if this is a knee action, but the uh, she ran out of juice and this was somebody's fix. It's pretty good. Other than like everything broke on the front end, look how everything's been welded numerous times. Broken, broken, but we've got some cool shock mounts. <laughs> Even over here, look at this stuff, eh? I'm gonna guess that's where the steering box was or something, but I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. Must have been there or somewhere in that vicinity. 
Yeah. Lots of broken frame. Oh, key dyna, eh? Anyways, I think next step is I'm going to take all the body mounts off. Uh, we'll get rid of the pedals. I like to lift the body away from what's left of the chassis. And then maybe get this table out for now. So we can, because uh, the body's sort of solid-ish. <laughs> it's workable. Ones to that edge. I guess they're the same, they just look different. See how my front comes out? It shouldn't do that, but I'm not worried my fender will cover it. And this one is in the same zone, it just seems like it's sticking further out. Ah, it's gotta go in a little more. Like to me, this sh should get in there a little bit more, but ah, we'll look at it once it's off the body, that'll be easier. Hey buddy, hmm? How's it going bud, hmm? How's it going? Well, it has been a few days. I uh, got the transmission going on my truck, so that's a win. Um, we got the body lifted up. We haven't done much with it since, but I do want to switch it around. So I'm going to go take the body off of that hoist. I'm going to bring it over here. It just, whatever, seems to be a little more roomy. It's going to be a little bit before I need the table to do my chassis, so I'm just going to throw the chassis, like the table out for now, so I can at least get in and do some work on here if I want. I just rather work in this area for some reason. I enjoy it more than this spot. But uh, yeah, basically I'm going to get the body off. We're going to get over there. Then I want to strip the stuff out of the bottom and then start working on uh, fitting the top to this thing it's kind of my plan anyways so anyway just got the tractor running gonna warm it up we're gonna shuffle and move some stuff and uh gonna try this again here
Well, a lot just happened. <laughs> it was over there. I was moving stuff. I was just, I, I don't know. I like working in this stall better. Anyways, we got it. I moved it over. I basically cut the floor out because it's garbage. We've got to build from scratch anyways. I was uh, kind of tugging and pulling at this door. I was trying to just get this gap a little better. It's a little better. We got to work the top yet, but we still have to do like stuff. But tried tightening this up, it latches a little better. Well, other than the top is hanging on there now. It feels pretty good. It still needs some tweaking. I got to do the draw pasture side yet. It's, um, yeah, it still needs to get a little of this adjustment. And I want to fix this. This here, like I'm thinking this thing needs to go in like another, I don't even know what you would say, quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. I want this in. So... The only real way to do that is to shave this a little bit because we got our our inner rockers here which are for the most part pretty good yeah they're okay <laughs> i wouldn't say they're pretty good but anyways i want to clean them up then we can burn them to my new rocker that's kind of the plan i got to get all this excess garbage off but we can zap it to the new rocker we should have plenty of strength in there we should, before we cut the roof off, is do a little XC do in there. So nothing does anything weird. Not that it matters. It's all pretty screwed right now anyways. Um, we'll have to do some inner bracing stuff. So we got that one there. This side we got uh, like still some of the inner door thing, but I think I can remove a lot of that because I have this particular brace that I can put in. Uh, I think I just have it. So it's left. So that was my outside skin, which is pretty crappy. This other door one's not too bad. We got uh, our door is okay. Our inner rocker stuff is terrible. So I'll mind you this. Well, no, we're going to rebuild it all. I'll probably just do another piece of pipe into there. We'll probably do that just to overbuild everything. This step we're going to have to, but I'll probably make this with another, maybe I'll get some more of this stuff. Can I do that? Yeah, I can do whatever I want, honestly. <laughs> I'd like to get, there's a couple good points. This, this lip is on here. I don't know how I'm going to remake it yet. We'll figure that out as I go here, but uh, I'm not too concerned. Kind of want to focus, try to get the roof partially done, like kind of that other roof grafted onto here so we can kind of figure out our roof line. It's kind of the plan. I mean, for the most part, this stuff is okay. I kind of want to just do some big fun things right now, I think. Um, yeah, you know what? I think we're going to play with that. I'm going to quickly do a brace inside. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Well, mind you, a little skin. Whatever, just talking out loud. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just going to do a blind cut. I don't know. I'm not going to think too much about it. We're just going to do a blind cut here because this other roof should just fit underneath or we'll kind of see how bad things fit and we'll kind of base it on that. This one I want to peel the skin off of because we don't need this upper brace because we're going to keep the one on the car. So we're probably just going to cut over here. Then we can kind of scab it over the edge. Um, we'll just murder everything on the inside for now. That's in the way. Yeah. Let's not think too much about it. Let's just cut stuff and then we'll slowly just puzzle it back together. I think that's the 
for me, the easiest way to tackle this sucker. Uh, yeah, let's get to some more cutting. <laughs> All right, we are slowly getting there. We kind of, I just plasma everything. We'll do the final cuts with a zip cut after it. It's not a big deal, but trying to get these close up. I am really hoping that I can get that line to work in the back, because that would be awesome just to break up the back somehow. But I'm kind of thinking it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's, well, I guess everything's way too high right now, because I kind of cut and left me some of this upper portion just in case. But uh, I think I should just lift it off, shove it forward. Um, I'm thinking this line is just way more crisp than the one on here. Then if we weld in the middle, it's just a little nicer to body work instead of body working this thing. But uh, anyways, we're gonna fidget and kind of push this thing forward to where I want it. And then, I don't know, we'll see what happens here. I mean, I like the way the, the roof line had that nice swoop, but if, this body line had some way to break itself up would be super cool at the same time too, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, all I gotta do is just keep slowly trimming, try to get that butted up 
to the door, but then at least the roof and that will all line up. Makes sense. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just slowly picking things apart. I kind of want everything to be, have a nice line and be butt up nicely before I totally destroy everything <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of work just to cut it up yet again, but it's, it's getting there. See that roof already looks, it already looks better than that roof. Okay, well, I'll keep schmoozing and cutting and we'll, uh, we'll see where we get here. Well, this is working out kind of like everything else in the car. Not the way I thought. <laughs> so we gotta do some finessing with this line yet. I gotta cut this corner so we can kind of push this in. This roof is like, well, hey, now we know. A coupe roof and a four door rear roof section, although they look the same, they're not. This one has a little nicer profile, so I'm not gonna do much there. I think when it comes down time, we're just gonna scoot it ahead a little bit more, get it to flow a little nicer, and uh, it's just gonna be what it is. Pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, this line that I really dig, I uh, it's like disappearing into the belt line. 
And here's the well, second thing we've noticed, because the rear windows are, are good. Like if anything, it's gotta go up a bit, but I'm not gonna worry about that. We got this drip line, we're gonna leave that. But here, see where this line's here? This one's way up here. Yep, I should have left the other one. <laughs> oh man, oh well. Hey, those things happen. Can't help it. I goofed, not a big deal. See, we're a little high. We can fix it by cutting that. We have the other sections, so there's gonna be a lot of boogering two pieces together here. Like extra welding that I felt I didn't have to do, but. So we'll have to get this line and this one lined up. I'm not gonna worry too much about this part right yet until we get this B-pillar uh, welded up and stuff and solid. Reason being is we'll probably end up cutting this back and it's gonna end up like we'll be adding a piece into here, easiest. This is gonna be here. I wanna get this pillar in place cause I do wanna shrink this up more. I'd like to bring, I don't know how much yet. I'm thinking a three window. I'm gonna look up some pictures to see what should be right. Or, you know, I guess you could eyeball it. I guess I could drop it on the ground and then we can sit back and eyeball it. But for the most part, it's uh, like it's, I don't know, looks okay like that. But again, I want a three window. So we're going to, uh, I don't know what a happy medium is. Like this to here is too much. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if we bring this panel into here because with the chop, it's all gonna just flow nice. And I don't want a huge section in here. I felt my Pontiac, it was a little too big. But this car being smaller, it's just all gonna work. But yeah, I don't know. Right now though, first things first, I think we gotta work on this line. There's a lot of not happiness happening up here. So, oh, I know why. Because there's a big chunk of steel stuck in there. That's why. Hmm, I gotta get this piece out. There's this little angle wedge thing. I think once I shuffle that thing back, that roof will go down a little nicer. This side, this side's not as ugly. It looks a little nicer, <laughs> a little bit, a little bubbly. We'll fix that when we do the roof. We'll probably end up cutting this down here and then we're gonna flop a new skin on it. I think that'll be the idea. That'll make it the easiest anyways. Come into there, come around here. I don't know. We need something that's not this. The insert's cool, but I'm not gonna do it. <sighs> All right, well. Okay, what I did on the other side that I didn't show here, you can see this is a really thick, I zip cut on the inside of here. So this fit better. It doesn't sit so far away from the door. Uh, this, you can see this side looks okay. Hey bud, how's it look? Looks pretty good, eh? See this one, we did a zip cut just into an angle and although it's a little bit down, the door top is in high, but it's uh, it fits more flush, like much nicer. And then we ground up the inside. So we basically gotta go sh shwink our gap, which actually looks pretty good. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is just start tacking this thing in and then uh, we'll end up having to come down here. We're gonna have to do the old slice through and line these two back up. So this lines with this. We'll kind of weld that back together. Oops. And then uh, uh, we'll do the same to the other side. We gotta clean it up. And then we can start working on the back section. At least I think I'm gonna try to anyways. We'll see where we get here. We got a lot, <laughs> a lot of welding to do.
Well, that was a whole bunch of work. <laughs> Alrighty. What did we all do? We fixed these lines. I haven't fully welded all this because there's a lot of other stuff I'm going to be doing yet. But anyways, we cut this. We moved it down. We tweaked that. It is good. Still needs some, uh, some bracing here and there, but I'm not sure how I'm doing the back and stuff yet. You kind of see me zap in the top, but we had this huge bulge. So I ended up doing a couple slices. We did the old cut and butt everywhere. Everything feels good, like the shape looks okay. So I'm pretty happy about that. This side's got a little more fidget in there, but I don't know, something. I probably trimmed it and cut it in different than the other side. Not a problem. This one was a whole bunch of work too, but we got that zapped in a little tighter. I'm gonna work the other side a little bit better, but overall we got our other roof back on so now we can sit back and kind of see the whole thing i think it looks good i mean in the end it is five window but that's not what i want <laughs> anyways i think the next plan of attack i th think this is kind of good enough back here i'm gonna get this butt this up a little better just so this corner's tightened in a little more i might do a couple little quick little zaps in here just to hold bits into place because you can see the the upper roof has a little bit of wiggle room they can play around so we'll temporarily kind of get that zapped in um yeah but i think next round what i want to do is maybe work on the chop and then we're going to figure out the back that's kind of the plan i got to get the window to look the way i want and then you'll see it just won't look right with that back window anymore. And then we'll have to try to smash and make everything fit. But anyways, like I said, I think a, this has been a stretch over a, a long period of time, I think. <laughs> it's been a few, a week or two before I've actually worked on this. So anyways, long story short, I want to thank you folks for watching. And uh, we will catch you on the next one when uh, doing more coop stuff. Anyways, later. <laughs>